much. So it's time for another experiment. Today I want to experiment with cold moist stratification versus dry cold stratification and see if there's any differences in those germination rates between the two methods. When it comes to cold dry stratification, you have to think about the variety of plant that you're growing. Not all varieties of native seeds can be stratified using this dry stratification process. You have to select varieties that are naturally drought tolerant or drought resistant. And you want to go back to my example about the Great Plains and think about your prairie flowers and your prairie grasses. You'll definitely want to research before you do any of these methods with your seeds. But I did put a short list of some of the more popular native plants, at least the popular ones that we grow in my region here, that can be stratified using this dry stratification process. So I selected a few varieties that are really hot sellers here at our plant nursery. And if these seedlings are successful, we will actually be selling these in the spring here. But let's try three different varieties. I chose these varieties based on their drought tolerance and based on the fact that when I did my research, these were common plants that were also native and popular in the Great Plains too. So hypothetically, they should be successfully germinating with this dry stratification process and I should be able to mimic it right here in my refrigerator as well.